Oh, first of all, do the shouters realize that Bennett's home is not ready yet? <laughs> they have to finish it first and then we'll go home. No, I'm, I'm joking. Look, uh, all governments try to find the way between the, uh, uh, the wish and I would say the necessity to uh, demonstrate Israeli sovereignty and not accepting uh, that uh, the unthinkable situation that Jews uh, can uh, raise a flag in some parts of Jerusalem and cannot uh, raise a flag in other parts. It not uh, several days ago they spoke about a, a, a mosque and saying why do you need Jews to go in in front of a mosque on a, a holy day for the Muslim, a fasting day and I don't accept it, but one can understand the logic. But here it's not, it's not, it's not Al-Aqsa. It's even not the yard of Al-Aqsa. It is in the center of Jerusalem, in a place when Jews and Arabs go all the day and night. And, they, and, and every year this uh, march of flags is uh, uh, um, marching in the Passover holiday uh, in Israel. It happens now that both holidays clash and are at the same uh, time. But uh, it's a principle. Itamar Ben Gvir cannot accept the principle that uh, a, a march that every time goes in every year marches in Jerusalem will be limited to some parts because it may irritate uh, some uh, uh, some uh, Arab uh, merchants or Arab people who, who uh, live there. If they give in now on on on, on Shar Shem on Damascus Gate, next year it will not be even take place in Jaffa Gate, and the year after it won't be in Jerusalem. At the end of the day, they the only place where Jews can make mark uh, is Bnei Brak, and Bnei Brak also has a problem, some of them, with a flag, so it will be not allowed to uh, wave right. a flag of Israel. Uh, you cannot accept it, you have to draw a line.